working with Olivia has been absolutely amazing. She just she's so kind and understanding and just incredibly sweet. And I've been able to make so many friends through the community that she's created. So I really, really appreciate it. Working with Dashing Bell has been amazing so far. I've not been with the team since the beginning, but Dash did not let me feel left out even though I joined in so late. They've created a really fun space in which to work in. They run community events for all the voice actors and staff so that we can kind of come together and meet one another and have fun, which is cool because it's created a lot of friendships and strong bonds with each other. Everyone is like super amazing to work with and the environment feels stress-free and nurtures creativity. This lets the series feel more genuine because we're not only are we interested in doing our lines for our characters, but we're invested in the series as a whole. Dashing Bell is truly a jack of all trades and has been an absolute treasure to work with. Working with Olivia has been one thrill of a ride and I hope to keep working in that nice community and trying my best to help out Olivia. She's a kind and generous person and I see greatness in her. Working with Dash has been a pretty cool experience, I'd say. I've gotten to grow a pretty pretty fun friendship with her, I'd say. Um, and it's also been like a childhood dream of mine almost. I remember watching The Locket when I was like 11 and to now be voicing a prominent character in a series that she's doing now that's really successful. I mean, that's thanks to you guys, but like that's doing really well and people love and that she loves writing and that I love voicing. And it's just a dream come true for sure. Working for and with Olivia has been an amazing experience on my side. I mean, on a professional side, she's very good at just giving us our deadlines, but also being understanding that sometimes things don't go as planned and She's able to feel be flexible with her time for us if certain situations were to arise. Um, I deeply respect her for that, as well as for how hard she works in putting together the episodes. I've watched her do scenes, and I don't know how she sits through all of that. <laughs> um, so deep respect for her. Uh, on a friend side, it's just been great working out our friendship. I mean, obviously when we started this project, I didn't know her on a personal level. And over this year, I've gotten to, and I now consider her my best friend. And we were able to work out that whole situation of friends and boss, when to know when she's wearing the boss hat, or when we're able to just be friends. And we both were able to take it really well, I think. And I wouldn't ask for it any other way. Getting to work with Olivia has been a really awesome experience. Uh, she's such a sweet and kind person. She's very chaotic, but we love that about her. <laughs> and she's really understanding, and it's been really awesome getting to know her and the team. Working with Dashing has been an absolute dream. I mean, she is just the kindest person, and more than that, she wants to build up the people around them instead of trying to knock them down. Not to mention, she has more talent in her pinky finger than most humans have in their entire body. I really couldn't ask for anyone better. Aw, mushy. I wouldn't go that far. Let me have this, damn it! Working with Dashing Bell has been actually kind of easy. And and that's, I mean, that is like the highest compliment I can. I've done a lot of YouTube series in which the creator does not have as much passion as they said they did when first talking about it or not being able to manage such a, a large team like they can. So it's not only been refreshing, but relieving. <laughs> Just having everything organized the, the, the way that she said it, it's, um, it makes everything so much easier. I've worked with Olivia for a good number of years now, and to say that she's stubborn is an understatement. I've helped her with so many projects that I've never gotten the chance to take off, so seeing her series getting traction has made all the nights. I've stayed up with her worth it. Olivia is incredibly professional with her work, but somehow she also makes it lighthearted and fun. I consider working with her an extremely pleasant and chaotic experience, so I'm happy I've been by her side since the beginning. Working with Olivia has been super amazing. She's super inviting, she's super welcoming, she's super sweet. 
Um, if you're in her Discord, you know her, you talk to her every so often, and I love getting to chat with her every so often. She's very kind about giving lines and telling you when the dates are due, and so I always want to make sure I get things sent on time, and I always feel bad when I forget or I get it a little over. It's a lot of getting Discord pings saying that we're gonna do things and then we all gather and then Olivia goes and sleeps and eats food and lives a life and we never actually do anything. She'll say she's coming back, but we know she isn't. Okay, to be fair, you can't defend yourself on this one. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so hush. James! Working with Dash has been a lot of chaotic fun. I'm pretty sure though we have been more of a headache to Dash than Dash has been to us. Especially us on the build team. <laughs> I can confirm these allegations. Really? I thought I would be more of a headache. You're, You're getting, getting there. there. Hey, that's not very nice. Caitlin? Yeah? Hold my shit, I'm gonna beat his ass real quick before the next BA comes in. Kick it! Wait, no! Stay back, witch, no! As someone who's a VA and team member of Soulbound, all I can say is that working with Dash has been an amazing experience. While there are some things that me and her don't agree on, we both agree that we just want what's best for the series and we both know how to talk it out like adults and like, you know, boss and employee or business partners. We just want this to be something enjoyable for all of you and I hope the work shows for that. Working with Bell has been a fun experience in its entirety. Um, I get to get a lot of feedback for my voice acting on... Fuck. Anyway, feedback, you know, I, I like to do the whole, like, back and forth of like, hey, here's what you should fix because this so-and-so scene, 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 information, blah, 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 it's emotion. So I like that whole experience. It's just my thing with voice acting. Working with uh, Bell has been basically everything that I like about doing voice acting, you know, uh, for, so... Yeah. To be honest, my favorite line I have ever recorded as Caroline has got to be from the Christmas special where Stephen was telling Caroline Santa wasn't real and it made her and Octavia upset. Anytime Esther goes on a rant about the science behind her studies, I am always so intrigued to see what Olivia has come up with for Esther's explanations and how this apparently works in this fictional world, especially because it's so different from the real world. The science does not correlate here, <laughs> but it always makes me feel super smart and it's super enjoyable to just feel a little smarter for the day. It's okay, Kat. You're still smarter than Caitlin. Hey, what the fuck? Olivia, give him another black eye, would you? Yeah, okay. That's not fair, I don't hit women! Equal rights, equal spites, bitch! Alright, my favorite line, I've done so many, but I think my first line where I went, you know, my Scottish accent. Calm down, Mackay. Go back to your post. I tried to sound like an old Scottish, you know, warrior with that one. That was my favorite line. I'm pretty new to the cast, but my favorite line so far is definitely, if the prophets are true and they can cleanse the corruption, wouldn't that be bad for us? Oh, Edith, you little anxious baby. I adore you. I don't think I have a favorite line that I've recorded. If anything, I have like a favorite sort of like type of line that I record, which is probably the drunk Gabriel lines. A lot of you guys like to uh, <laughs> hear those or see those scenes. Um, but those are always a blast to record. I have a lot of fun messing around with the voice and doing all the drunk voice and all the <laughs> hiccups. It's pretty fun. Favorite line you've recorded as the character? With Ava, I don't necessarily if I have a favorite line, but I would say some of my favorite lines with her was in episode 13 near like, um, 
the end of her lines uh when she started getting more emotional and more vulnerable i would say that was more fun to record because for a while ava just made me really mad but when she started getting more vulnerable and she was like okay i think it's finally time to let him go and just let him be happy i think that was when i had I was like okay this these are actually really good i really enjoy recording these so those are probably some of my favorite lines to record as her my favorite line as of so far that I have recorded was the one where it's just like I'm hanging out with Lady Octavia's character and I'm just like getting all dramatic, you know, uh, who hurt you to make you like think everyone's out to get you, man? Why am I doing it like that? Anyway, the point is, is I like the drama of it. I'm just like so intense and dramatic, bro. I still don't know why I'm doing that voice. But anyway, just that whole scene, I just love being all dramatic, you know, and just whether it be romantically dramatic or just like, I'm so tense and ugh. so that just acting. It's it's the acting part. I, I like that. <laughs> wow, how angsty. Makai behavior. <laughs> it's <laughs> typical. Typical. <laughs> typical. Oh, my favorite line is from Lucian in my debut of him in episode twenty one when he simply states, I'll stand. I just like that little rebelliousness in him over such a simple task. My favorite line is Nolan. I can't really decide on that. Um, I would have to say like any line Nolan said during the pancake versus waffles fight. That was fun to record and fun to listen back to and I loved each of my lines in that scene. I'm not sure I could fully choose a singular one, but my favorite ones are the ones in episode 18, part one. Just because, like, the emotions are absolutely crazy. Pro I probably would say the one where she's just screaming no. That one might be my favorite. And it sucked because I don't think I executed it the best but it was really fun to do still. I'm going to sound borderline sadistic when I tell you what my favorite episode of Soulbound is, but it's episode 12, When Rain Falls. Uh, spoiler alert, that's when a character dies and it is devastating. But they did such a good job with it. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, when I hear Octavia screaming like that, what am I supposed to do? Not think it's my favorite episode? Since I couldn't really pick a favorite line, since, like, all, all, all the lines kind of, like, are super fun to me, whether I'm, like, yelling at someone or yelling at myself or, or, or whatnot, my favorite episode is actually the first one that I did for Dashing Bell. Uh, that was the holiday special for 2022. I said, damn it! Yay! <laughs> No, that, the, the holiday special, I don't even know if it counts. It's not like an actual episode, but like the wholesome vibes to it was just, oh man, haven't gotten that since. That's by design, of course. Like I know the holiday special is obviously going to be more wholesome than, than actual no, real gritty episodes. I mean, I just, I like the vibes. Okay, leave me alone. My favorite episode is episode 18, part one, Divine Intervention, because of how much information about the strain has come out and what it can lead to. Alright, my favorite episode has to be episode 7, where they're all teasing Philip in the town square over, you know, Crush. My favorite episode of Soulbound is most likely the first episode. I have a special love for just first episodes of series that introduce characters and how they introduce them. It's also what got me interested in Soulbound and joining the Builders team. If I remember correctly, it's episode 5, and there's just like, this is kind of like question 3 and 4 together. It's like my favorite episode because it has one of my most favorite scenes in it, which is like, just the boys, like the Ellesmere boys just getting together talking about like, just guy locker room stuff, like girls and all that, and like responsibilities and everything. It, it's just, it's just such a down to earth scene and episode overall and i just really enjoyed that sort of atmosphere and 
I am friends with some of the actors who play the guards and everything, and I love hanging out with them. And to kind of put that chemistry that we have off screen onto, you know, the screen and into the story is just such a cool experience. And I hope we get to do a bit more of that because I really do enjoy it a lot. I like that episode too. Understandable. It was cute to see all the guys take a moment and just bond under the circumstances. Typical. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> My favorite episode would have to be episode 10 when Makai and Octavia kissed. Ooh, I like that episode. The episode or kissing Willow? Both are nice. Ew. Ignore him, he's just lonely. I hate you both to my core. You don't mean that. You love us. Uh huh. My favorite episode might be a tad biased as it's episode mm -hmm. 16. Uh, this is the, uh, the first video I actually featured in, and sort of my introduction into the world of Soulbound. So it's got that special place in my heart. Favorite episode, hands down, is the holiday special. Um, it was so fun to record, getting to yell at Lexton and Gianna, and being like uptight about Christmas. I don't know, that was fun to tap into as the character. Getting to watch the episode was just a fun experience on its own. It's definitely the, probably one of the episodes that I look back and watch the most. It's the one that I've recommended to family that I'd asked about my voice acting, which probably wasn't the best idea since I cussed within the first scene, but they liked it, so <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I don't think that the holiday special was the best choice to send over. Well, it certainly wouldn't have been her first episode. Oh yeah, that's definitely worse. Hey, I like the holiday special. But to show family? To be fair, it was the first Soulbound content with a quality increase. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, loser. Dash! Enough! My favorite scene, I'm not actually sure I can mention because it's not officially out yet, depending on when this comes out. Um, but I love it so much, so all I'll say is, Keep an eye out for episode 23. Episode 16 would have to be one of my favourite scenes. Uh, when uh, Nolan and Steven prank Octavia, Nora and Gianna, and soon get punished by the boys. And I love the way how I ended up laughing at the end. My favorite scene is definitely in episode 13. It's one of the last scenes in which Ava and Makai are talking. It's the first time that we get to see this other side of Ava that kind of makes her into a way more redeemable character. We get this incredibly raw scene in which Ava is talking about this heartbreak that she is feeling, but at the end of the day, she knows that being with Octavia is what's going to make Makai the happiest. And at the end of the day, that's what she decides is more important. It's just so beautiful and redeeming and powerful. And I just love women. Real. Shut up. I think my favorite scene from Soulbound, I don't remember the episode, but it was when Octavia, Gianna, and Nora went to the new hot springs that was added in Ellesmere. They went to go take a girl's day, but afterward, Nolan and Steven decided to try to crash their hot springs and try to steal their clothes. Little did they know, it backfired, and so the girls were trying to chase them all the way to the guard station where Lord Gabriel and Mackay were watching and decided to lock them out during the night. And then they decided to see Lexton and tried taking his armor. That has to be my favorite scene because I just could not stop watching it. It's hard to pick a favorite scene, in all honesty, but if I had to, it has to be the little heart-to-heart -heart with Nolan and Octavia. I don't know what episode it was, but Nolan was trying to tell Octavia that without Ava in the picture now, why not go after Makai? I feel like that was a great heart-to-heart -heart with the two characters, and shows that there's, you know, kind of teased the relationship between them. But that's a story for another time. 
For my favorite scene, it's not necessarily like a happy or a fun one, but more of a scene where my character Landon became more than just a regular character. Uh, to preface this, I am always more excited to do more dramatic readings that are more challenging and that have like more emotion than usual. So in episode 19, during the conversation between Nora and Landon, uh, them trying to figure out their relationship during this whole arc was personally for me really enjoyable to work on. Uh, just kind of going back and forth of like a bunch of different ways to make the conversation have a real sense of like kind of like sad and troubling, confused, like almost like gaslighting. <laughs> like, I don't know, like it was just, it was really fun to work on. Uh, it kind of challenged me as a voice actor to make something kind of more real. My favorite scene? <clears throat> Octavia beating Steven with a stick in the holiday special. Easy. <laughs> I like that scene. I love giving a good old smack. No kidding. Sorry. How are your eyes? You live. Just, just stop talking. Yeah, okay. Now, this doesn't really have anything to do with Soulbound or acting or anything, um, but I, I still feel like this is important to say. No matter who you are, what you like doing, how much influence you have, how many loved ones you have surrounding you, your life has value, <laughs> okay? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, not even yourself. You, just like me, may make a lot, a lot of mistakes, but you, yourself, are not one. I don't need to know you to be able to tell you that. So if a random dude from a Minecraft roleplay has any influence on your life whatsoever, just know that I at the very least believe in you. Be so for right now. Is he crying? It was just so beautiful. I'd like to thank everyone who has made this so enjoyable, so much fun, and genuinely just my favorite roleplay to ever partake in and be a part of and get to see grow. I'd like to thank all the viewers who have stuck around and watched all the episodes. You genuinely make all of us so happy and it is so exciting to see everybody else excited for Olivia's content. Ah, oh, I'm so proud. Oh my god. <laughs> and I apologize for not being active on Discord for the people in the fan server. Um, that is entirely on me. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad that myself and so many other people got to experience this special project. And it's I love it so much. It's just so unique. So here's to one year of Soulbound and hopefully many more. I can't believe Soulbound changed me in a good way. I'm proud to be a member of Soulbound and I'm proud to help Olivia and I'm grateful for Soulbound that is turning one and it's unbelievable and amazing. I just want to appreciate Olivia for starting the Dashing Bell 10 channel and making Soulbound happen. Special message, you guys should all totally keep supporting Dash and also support her other content creators like, um, we'll just say other people who work with her and make their own roleplays. Um, I guess I would say that I really enjoyed recording for Soulbound and it's been just a blast to do so. Um, I hope to continue on as the series progresses and I hope the series continues to do well. Yeah! <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for continuing to support the series. I've had to re-record this so many times because I can't seem to figure out the words right. Um, I've met so many great people on a personal level through this, and it's strange to think that over a year ago, I didn't know any of them. And now I quite literally spend most of my time speaking with them hanging out with them. It's... It's been a crazy year. I've found a best friend in this, and that's not something I expected joining the project, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you for making it possible for us to create this project. 
and I'm excited to see where the next few years take us. I just want to say it's been an honor working within the Soulbound project. It was the first project I've ever sort of worked on as a voice actor. Uh, so it could have been very make or break for me in terms of um, like confidence and how I found things. But thanks to the inviting nature of the people on the project, it was a massive confidence boost in terms of continuing on this voice acting pathway. Egbert will reign again. Egbert will reign again. Kill the cow. Kill the cow. Kill the nope. cow. Nope. Off we go, pomegranate. Who gave him sugar? It wasn't me. You literally have candy in your hands. I can see it. My favorite character would have to be Lexton due to his interesting background and also the horrible jokes that have been told throughout the series. My favorite character. For the guys, it's Steven. He's very funny, very charismatic, and also is not afraid to speak his mind and, you know, protect the people he loves and care for his best friend Octavia. For the girls, Gianna. Gianna cares about Octavia a lot since they've been friends for years and I just love seeing their friendship grow even more throughout the show and the fact that we're able to see see it and see it evolve into something much bigger. I hope we get to see more of that pretty soon. My favorite character so far in Soulbound is probably Edith. Despite the small amount for Edith that's already been shown, Edith just is a fun character, and I love scientists, and I love evil scientists in laboratories. But Edith is just more of a, a confused henchman. It's amazing. Did he just? Yep. Uncalled for. Um, for my favorite character, I would probably say it's Nolan. <laughs> Their character is always funny and just kind of put into these really hilarious positions. I mean, I'm totally not biased because in the series Nolan and Landon are friends, and that also the voice actor of Nolan and I are friends out of the series, and that they actually got me the role to play in this series. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's why. It does help. <laughs> Definitely bias, for sure. What? People can't have Nolan as a favorite character? With you as the voice actor? No. You'll be expecting my two weeks. My favorite character is probably Nora Fox. Just because she's like, she's oddly sensible amidst all of this craziness. And she just, she's just really sweet. And also I love Caitlyn. <laughs> See, now that's bias. Shut up, James. I love you too, Ray. Not in that. Oh, my favorite character has to be Eden. Gotta watch out for my sister after all. I believe for my favorite character, well, I kind of have two favorites as one, which is Octavia and Luxton. I think they both are great partners and have the best training, but they are also the ace in line of defense for Elsmere, and they rely on each other to take care of the corrupted souls. And I look more on the bond between the two. My favorite character? Hmm. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Nah, it's Steven! Steven Gang, rise up! Let's go! Let's go! Let's get some Stevens in Whoa, here! Whoa, settle down, buddy. Watch the camera. That was expensive. I take it back. That was bias. You think? Okay, I guess that just leaves me. Um, hopefully y'all know who I am by now. If you can't tell by the voice or the face, I am Dashing Bell 10 and I'm the creator of Soulbound. Today, um, we are celebrating something very great and something almost unbelievable. Given this entire ride of my channel, something like this is kind of unheard of. Um, having a series go on for over a year and still be active is just very unheard of for my, uh, my tendencies. To be fair, I have good reasons, but that's not a time for this. I will get into that kind of detail when Soulbound is done. Hopefully. <laughs> but 
today is actually um, August 8th and Soul Bound's birthday is tomorrow, but I am recording everything ahead of time so that this can come out on time because like everything else, oh my God, he's been burping for like the past like five minutes. I can't get him to stop. This is my dog, by the way, if y'all haven't noticed, okay. Anyways, I want everything that I post always comes off like very late and this wasn't going to be another one of that cases. So yeah, um, it's been a year, a whole year of soulbound content. And I mean, I took a month and a half break here and there and it was horrible because I didn't like being away, but if I didn't, I probably would have burnt out really quickly. So yeah. It has been an incredible adventure creating Soulbound and establishing this like community with all the VAs and my supporters has been incredible. And I cannot begin to thank everyone who has been here since the beginning, or even if you're just now stopping in, thank you for giving me the time of day and giving Soulbound the time of day to pique your interest. And I hope that it has. It has just been so amazing to create something like this and it's like all my series are like cheering me on in a way because they never got finished and so bound is on the right track and i hope i hope that it does because this has been such a great adventure and i don't want it to stop quite yet so we have a long way ahead of us and this is just the first year of many but we're getting there and i can't believe that it's already been a year and it's very bittersweet because yes, we hit a milestone, but it's almost like, wow, it's already been a year. Like it's been a year since I've met these incredible people, since I've published, since I've started. Like this is the series is supposed to be my way to get back on the map of this kind of like content. And for it to already be a year is quite incredible to me. And I am so thankful from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sure everybody else is, but I can't believe this. I truly can't. So, damn, you look chubby though. I'm very thankful. So, thanks guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's, and so very bittersweet. And I can sit here and ramble and ramble and ramble for hours about how much I love my voice actors and my teammates. I just, it's just incredible where we've ended up and I have established so many great relationships with Insole Bound and I've made a best friend out of it and I am so happy and grateful for the opportunity to do something like this and I couldn't be here without you guys and I couldn't be here without my my team on skins, I couldn't be here without my team on builds, my voice actors, the supporters, everybody that has been a part of this journey has made it what it is today. And I hope everyone knows how much I love you guys. So I guess now is the time where we grab Caitlyn and we blow out a candle. I'm kind of scared because what if I like burn down the house? <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. So um, I guess here we go. Do you wanna say anything for the our camera buddy. Oh. Nice. Okay, well, let's go ahead and blow out some candles. You are not for real. She almost dropped the cake. FYI. Yeah. It was an accident. Okay. The blinds. Want me to close them? Uh, maybe a little bit. Oops. Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, yeah. Ow, my knee. People do this. Shut up, you're stupid. My bad. <laughs> if y'all didn't know already, this is uh, Caitlin, um, Nora's VA. I do do that, huh? You do that. I do do that. This is our cake, because we like chocolate cake, and no one else is here to share it with us, so. We kind of get a, we get a say. Oh no. Maybe next year. What if I just like broke off the wig? Cause it's about to fall off. <laughs> Man, I'm not trusting you with this shit. James would kill me if I let you have this. Oh, he can, Never mind. 
No, he'd probably kill you for letting me have this, if yeah. anything. Oh my god, did we, did we sing happy birthday? <laughs> did we sing happy birthday for this? Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Stupid. <laughs> Stop. It's my birthday all over again. This candle starts falling into the cake too. I'm losing my shit. <laughs> That's a good day. That was good. Um, this is still hot, so I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, it like paused. <laughs> It was. I thought it was gonna like. I thought your storage was gonna run out. Oh, that's very true. That could happen. You ready? Yep. Do we sing? I don't know. Do we sing? <laughs> Decisions. <laughs> um. <laughs> I can't think of myself seriously. I'm sorry. Don't think the side eye is going crazy right now. Please. Okay. Um. <laughs> my bad. It really is my birthday all over again. Yeah, at least Matt's not here. He'd be screaming at us. Please don't tell me the cake is leaning. No. The cake is leaning. <laughs> because they went me, stupid. Her glass is fucking. <laughs> nice one. You ready? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear soul bound. Happy birthday to you. You gonna blow up the candles with me? All right, three, two, one. Yay! Love cake. <laughs> I love cake. I like chocolate cake. Is your favorite one. <laughs> my knees are hurting. I really don't care how we do this. I don't. For no man. Oh, my goodness. Put that shit down. <laughs> Did you really? I hope Jay sees this and he mocks you for it. You know he will. No. Back it up. Back it up, dog. You can't eat a little <laughs> All right, well. Thanks Go for on. joining us. Ow, my knees. Bye.